So today I'm going down to the polling station with my husband, uh, Finn Barr Hayes, and also my dog, Poppy, and we're, we're looking forward to casting our vote. I think this is a really hugely significant day today, particularly for Irish women. Um, I, know, I know that uh, many of the men today are out supporting the women in their lives so that we can, you know, for once in this country, take away the deep-rooted shame that women feel and have felt for many generations. We've seen the catastrophic consequences of the Eighth Amendment over the last 35 years. Many of the experts, both legal and medical, have told us that. And I think we should have cognizance of that today when we're voting. Uh, and I would urge people to, to look at those facts if there are any doubts still at this late stage. Well, I'm delighted to get the opportunity to vote on this uh, uh, referendum. I think it's really important that uh, we get a yes vote. I think for too long um, we've been pushing our women away and not looking after them in their own country. Remembering that charity begins at home. We should be looking after uh, people in difficult circumstances. Um, I think we need to allow our legislators provide uh, options for these women so that they can uh, choose what's right for them in very difficult circumstances. I think we have to remember that uh, also uh, as the uh, legislation stands at the moment there are very few choices for women out there and despite whatever beliefs we have or whatever religious views we have we need to be thinking of other people and their views and what they need and what's best for them. And we don't want women to have to travel abroad for compassion and care, yes. care that they should receive in this yes. country. I think a real watershed moment. Uh, I'm hoping that there's going to be a collective sigh of relief tomorrow. It remains to be seen, but obviously I'd urge everybody to get out to vote. I voted yes in this referendum. I have voted yes. I hope you do too.